Keep up the payments, love. This isn't right. It's not enough. Savvy? Perfectly. We were closed for five days. My son had an accident. Well, you wouldn't want him to have another one, would you? How's Mark doing? I don't know, man. I ain't seen him. He'll be all right, Carl. He's a big boy now. Yeah? Hello, Carl. Ready? Need your phone, Mario. Hey. Nice gear. Yeah, I caught Gilmore when he was locking up. He's, uh, he's dropping the rest of the gear off tomorrow. It's no problem. Where'd you go after that? Quick drink. On your own. Give him Murray's slip, Freddy. Yo. You can take care of that, can't you, Marty? Sure. Look at the state of this. Someone chuck a ciabatta at ya? Nah, of course not. It's a bit difficult, but I SAS'd it, didn't I? The old woman's 50. Her son's on crutches, Jojo. Yeah, don't I know it? He came at me with it, didn't he? It's me. You heard from Mark? You don't know I ain't gonna we be go big brother to him all my well, life, Linda. Right. The birds, they get turned on by a bit of violence. Yeah, well, down she is about half 11. What about you, I? Thought you might want to change. Actually, batty. The man down Reese told me this is the latest thing in. Yeah, cleaner took it off and forgot it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See ya. Well, I got to check she's not having it away with some fat, greasy Italian. Yeah. Mark was in earlier. With Barry and that stupid violin his brother nicked from school. They gone out east. Some drinking club. I've told them enough times not to mess with their trash in their boonies. <laughs> Wanna buy a violin? <laughs> that Carl knows someone who wants to buy this. Yeah, yeah, all right. He's coming. I don't want to go, Mark. What's the matter with you? Well, Carl told me the blokes in the East End eat broken glass. And girls are like animals living in their ears. Yeah, I know. He said we shouldn't go there again. Look, Carl's my brother, Val. Come on, Mum. All right? Hello. <laughs> what comic you spring out of, eh? One of my colleagues fortunately heard that a certain gentleman had mouthed you out to the oinks. And we've done you a valuable service by... a dealing with that gentleman. Mm. Proper youth opportunity scheme, ain't you? We don't expect you to write us a check. Just know that you owe us. Look, lads, stick to running errands for other people, will you? We got 15 quid for the other one. It's worth more than that. Do you want to buy a violin? Tell them we're friends of Kev's. Will you keep my violin for me? Sign us in, Bat. Pills? Yeah. Oh. Seven. Yeah, I said. Two pills, please, love. <laughs> Dave? How was he? Oh, go on, Dave. I think we need to stay in here too long. I don't reckon Kev will show. I ain't got bleeding bank. Get him in, Toddy. Oh, the bird's waiting for a drink, Dave. Guess you yeah, know. Uh, you pissed away, Ferdy, tonight. What is in? I don't see why I got a pay in your I hate place. you when you whine. Toddy, yeah. give Crapface a tenner. What's the damage? 
Uh, granted the oak, monkey down Mary's. <laughs> no, I didn't think I'd seen you Oi. before. I can remember a fame. My seat, shift it, pillar. I ain't done nothing. Oh, I bet. Sorry, I was a bit short. Thanks, Jimmy. Bit ugly, too. <coughs> <coughs> What'd you say? Nothing. Didn't sound like nothing. Oh, here we go again. Now, come on, clever boy. What'd you say? Nothing. No, he didn't mean it, mate. Who are you? His bleeding boyfriend? No. No, he, he didn't mean nothing, Jimmy. What do you know about it, Lorraine? Drink your drink. Don't you talk to me like that. You need him to change your nappies. Look, no. mate, he doesn't understand sometimes. Oh, all right. What is he? <laughs> Spastic? No. He's just a... Yeah, we've got a bleeding spastic in. You're drunk. Leave it. Shut up, bitch. Foul mouth through git. Anyone want to see what a real spastic... Why don't you piss me off? Oi! Leave the boys fuck. alone, Jimmy. Your dad is getting angry. Another vodka, love. I don't put money in shirtlifter lifter joints down and smash the place up. What's happening with the world? Time to change him, Bobby. Queers ain't what they used to be. Yeah. Why don't we send Stalky down there? He'll persuade him to behave. No, that, that could work. Don't see why not. Because I'm thinking you're a god at me. You know, you shouldn't be taking those things with booze, you know. Acid breaks them up, makes them work quicker. You wake me someday? Yes. Anyone particular? No. Any grown-up will do. Do you mind if I smoke? Darling, I don't mind if you go up in flames. You know something? You're the kind of woman I really like. Uh, ready for it, looking good. Have you seen the runt? Yeah, yeah, I think he's up there, so. Yeah, that's your line. <laughs> you want know got a button missing. Hey. Damn it. Nice buttons, too. I suppose you know you lost it. It's probably the same shirt you ripped off me last week. He was desperate for my body. Don't be filthy, Carl. Excuse me, lad. Talk your politics again, are you, Russell? You should get out of Islington before you get like all the nice left-wing people. Yes, please, David. Don't you like talking about politics, Carl? I am politics, darling. I'm going to go. Leave you to your friends. No, please. It's late. Lane's over the other side. So? Well, you do like those old ladies. Yes, please, David. Coming for Jojo, will you come? I'm not no one, you know. Yeah. No, I'm one of the lads down here. A few of us stick together like with Carl. Oh, yeah. Carl. Oh, do you know him? Like a sort of gang. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Not many trees left to climb in Islington. Oh, look, your friend's got you a fizzy drink. So what do you reckon to me and you then, eh? Well, I reckon, and don't ask me why, but I reckon you're unlucky at cards too. Can we go to Cheers now? Finish your drink. Sorry. Don't worry about that, Brett. Get it in his mouth. Just finish your drink, Brett. What I tell you? I told you we had a spastic in. Oh, they shouldn't let them out, should they? I told you we had Hurry a spastic out. in. Oh, oh, oh. I'm there. I'm fine. Oh, 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 have a little shot. Oh, get get out. You was that bastard. Don't whine. I hate you when you whine. Get out and don't go anywhere else. I've got money in. <coughs> You're going to die soon. I can hear you breathing. I know what it is. I worked it out. You, you was born a prat because your mother never took the fag out of her mouth all the time she was pregnant. <laughs> right, now I'm going to the board. You go upstairs and wait in the street and we don't want any more trouble. I'll take that thing with you.
Me laugh. I just laughed. He's he's the only one who looks after me. Everyone else just takes a rise. I don't, I don't know what happened. It was some bloke, Marlene Road somewhere. See, I thought it was funny when he fell over, but it weren't because he had he had all blood coming out of his mouth. I've seen it on telly, Carl. Dead people have blood coming out of their mouth. Don't cry, Barry. Not in here. My mum's picking them up today, Chris. Okay. Come on. Come on. something for your brother? Russell told me. Is this what all the nice people in Islington are buying these days, Philippa? Hmm. Most of the nice people prefer stuff like this to suits like that. Most of the nice people couldn't afford suits like this. There's not much over after you've bulk bought the muesli, is there? What's this, then? Claris Cliff. My mum's bust better stuff with an hammer. Regular working class hero. Oh, quite possibly. But then I can't be sure, because you see, I'm not part of the working class, darling. Russell? You going up now? Mm. I'll drop you. Where are you going, Carl? See a man about a piece of snot. Don't say nothing to the bill.
We're honorable men, son. Born and bred. Know that. Look, I know what's right. And when it ain't right, then I know it's... <coughs> I know it's wrong. Do you want a cough, sweet? Cheers. You're not having one? Don't reckon I'd try and poison you with a menthol and eucalyptus, do you? <laughs> I reckon we understand each other. I understand your boy put my brother in hospital. Silly accident. Silly boy. Between you and me, he's as thick as shit. Your mama really called you over to have a word about it because she got something coming to her. And I will personally make sure she's all right. Bobby Talker will. Should the worst come to the worst, which it won't, will he? <laughs> Kids today, I ask you. You know what I mean, do you? I know someone could die in this mess. He made a mistake, and I'd come down hard on him. Is that all you have to say? Well, yeah. I just wanted you to know. Why does everybody disappoint me, Mr. Chilker? Bye-bye. I'm warning you, son. You go away and think about your wife and kids. I bought my insurance, Mr. Choker. You leave the little toe rag alone. Too late, Mr. Choker. A debt is a debt. I can deal with you, son. I can. Old man, old man. Who are you talking to? Honey! Honey! Don't you have to go to work, Jojo? No. Dear Pridey, look at this, look. It's a watch. Yeah, but you pull this out here like that. The alarms come up. What? It's a little robot. Time, haven't we? Can't be down soon. We're all with you. I mean, we all think the world of Mark, man. You can make those boys do whatever you like. It is linen. You're going to get there filthy. So I'll chuck it and get another one. It's life outside the angel. It's life outside pulling in protection and loan. Tea time. You're hardly around anymore, Marty. What you got to do that's so exciting? Oh, what's your call? Bill. When did we ever let anyone cross us with no knockback? Your brother's not dead, Carl. Anyway, I reckon Chalker still pulls in the East End. I also hear he's got friends. He's a sick old man. Who's a sick old man? You are dead. So do I count you out? Yeah. Did you get flour? Oh, forgot. How can I make you toad in the arm when there's no flour? I'll go, I'll go. Marty? You're right. Things have changed. The crows ain't been around since we were kids. We all look after ourselves. So Jimmy Chalker plunges Mark. So you cut up Jimmy. So Chalker sends over some maniac to blow you away. So me and Freddy go out east. De-dum, 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 de-dum. I reckon you're losing the romance in your soul, old son. Yeah, listen. Dad wants to know if you're still in on business. He's too proud to ask him. Can't think about it now. Hey, Carl! Listen. Look, you don't have to ask me who I'm with. I don't want to bury you, that's all.
Glenn's not here, Carl. Give over, Vicky. He don't need you. He's got a proper job now. I'm so pleased. Where is he? In bed? Oh, God. Shouldn't you be cleaning something, Vicky? What's your proper job then, Glenn? Night shift down the supermarket. Stacking shelves. Crumbs. If you could see yourself. I can. I don't know what you want. I heard about your brother, but I don't run with the boys anymore. Leave me alone, I'm tired. What are you doing in this hole, Glenn? I've got a kid. I've got two. Well, we can't all be Mr. Wonderful. Looks like all the little scams in Islington are paying off then. And the intimidation's tax free, ain't it? Shut up. You sound like some little prat just out of university. When did you start thinking the world owed you a living? This country ain't done me any favours. You're not doing it any either. There's nothing wrong with this country, Glenn. You didn't bother smack off this country. You bought it off some prick in Tottenham. Do you know what my life was like? I'd had it. Up to here. Do you know how much I need it? Should have got an obby. <laughs> Don't expect me to feel sorry for you, Glenn. Your life was just like mine and Marty's. Trouble is, you've got like half the bloody people in this country. Blame everyone except yourself. The truth of it is, you only get out of bed to complain. What makes you so much better than me? Because I get off me arse and look after myself. Because I make myself happy. If I'm pissed off, then I do something about it. You'll die feeling sorry for yourself. But before you do, you owe me a favour. Like hell. You owe me. You know that. In fact, you owe me more than one. But after this, I'll call it quits. I don't want to see you again. I don't want to catch what you've got. Why don't you leave him alone? Why don't you? Because I bloody love him. You can't even keep the ass clean. all up. Somebody fix the bleeding fuse. Candle. <coughs> How many cock-ups you had recently? Man's only as good as his last day's work, Georgie, you know that. You could pack it in. You know what it's like in business, me old son? This is an empire, Georgie, an empire. Can't give me a finger on every bit of it. Neither can Toddy. Neither can Motty. Last couple of years seems like something new every day. As if I ain't got enough grief. That little sod upstairs goes and damages some hard nuts brother. What? It's the least of my problems. A blow over. Cheers. Yes. It's a bugger, isn't it? When your kids grow up and you realise you ate them. Everywhere I look, there's little gits just like him. Supposed to be working for me. Grabby, grabby. You just don't want to work for nothing. Dogs in the gutter, George. Take your handle for a bone. You should have stuck with me instead of setting up with Tony. What we could have done, eh? Songs we could have sung. Tony should have been here too. Well, no, he had to be a big shot on his own. Well, 
I mean, with you, George. Head's so far in the clouds, you can't see his old Uncle Bobby no more. Steady on. He's done you favours. I can do my laundry anywhere. I'll come to you because Tony's family almost. <coughs> <coughs> I had other friends. I hope you still have. We're selling up, Bobby. Tony's decided. He wants to go to that big country house he bought his wife. Lock the gate and shut out the rest of the world. <sighs> Lovely. You'll still be around there, won't you? Don't look at me like that, old mate. How bad are things? Things are fine, George. Yeah. Have another. I ain't on my way out yet. When my number comes up, there'll be a big white staircase and a load of angels singing. I can't hear none yet, George. Tea, Bobby. Jesus! <coughs> when we ever drink bloody tea together? Collecting up the coke tonight, then? Not tonight, Freddy. I've got to go to work. Leave it, Mark. It's all right. Leave it? Really, I don't mind. We didn't do it, Carl. I can see the rest of us going the same way. Ah, Diddums. You afraid you cut your little finger? Why don't you shut your ignorant mouth for a change, eh? Yeah. Shut up, will ya? <laughs> oh, hello. What's wrong with him? Bush carrying over and slapped his legs. Go wash your face. You mustn't hit girls. You know that. It's not what little boys do. Not until they're big boys. that without a brain? I don't know. How did I do that without a brain, Freddy? What are we going to do, eh? We are going to have a party. Do what? <laughs> don't worry about it, Marty. Collect up the Copenhagen. Party! Yeah, party. Oh, gotcha! <laughs> We'll leave, Jimmy. Stop him, Lorraine. It's embarrassing. Oh, shut it. My bird sister fancies you, see? And she knows you're probably a bender. But she'd really like you to give her one. <laughs> <laughs> you bastard hung up. That's the trouble with this place. It's full of ignorant pufters. Keep it down, Jimmy. People are yeah. trying to listen to the piano. 
Let's split. But I like it. It's full of benders. Yeah, so that's nice. <laughs> Yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, I reckon I've got a dirty phone call here. Who is it? You're dead, Jimmy. Who was it? Go find me dead. Get him to send someone down for me. Do what? I just do it. Smashing all this. <laughs> Good fun, now, isn't it? Woo! Shop, the foam bar, the oak. Night's not over yet. Jesus. There's more of the other stuff and all, for which our little friend Carl ain't responsible. Webster's. What's that? Clothing factory down Commercial Road. Somebody padlocked them all in again. I mean, that's been going on for months. Busby's, Canning Town. Super glue on the ladies' carsey. <laughs> I mean, he might find that funny. But some poor old tart glued her bum to it. I mean, that ain't good for your public relations. I'm fed up with this. Being shoved around like some stupid little get just out of his nappies. I am not happy. And you know what happens when Bobby isn't happy? Oh, yes. We'll solve one of our problems right now. You find Mr. Carl Gorton tonight. I don't care how. You let him know just how fed up I am and don't send some Mickey Mouse toddy. You do it. You little dick! I should shoot him myself and save him the trouble! <laughs> Two quid they give us. You remember that? <laughs> I suppose they knew we had to get rid of it. A couple of kids with half a ton of lead off the school roof. <laughs> we must have been mental. <laughs> when it started raining. <laughs> and all the time the motto, we, we run, run together! together! You should have been there tonight, Mark. I didn't mean to row your ass, just... I had to see you, man. Don't matter. Someone had to place up the coke, didn't they? I don't know where he is, Marty. You know, I, I keep thinking he's just going to walk up to me somewhere. But he ain't. Oh, I don't know. We run together, Carl. All right. Like... We run together now. Like now, man. We can make the bridge. Come on. Stay put. What? No, Carl. Leave him, Carl. Leave him. I won't tell anyone. I won't tell anyone. Christ, Carl, no! I won't tell anyone. Carl! Would you bastard! Please! No! You tell him what you like!
Go on, Stan. The most terrible thing to say, Glor. I sometimes wish my rum was on wheels. Oh, yeah. Yeah, make carrying him out of the pub easier. had me mind on other things. Still do, don't I, Ron? What's you teach, Alan? Geography. Oh, I know nothing about that, do I, Ron? And a little games. Oh, that's wrong subject. Leave off, Brenda. What do I know about geography? Not a lot. Know a few little games, though. <laughs> do you want a drink? Get you one. You can have a drink, Connie. I'm fine, thank you. Go on, have a drink. Your old man's having a drink, isn't you, Ellen? Actually, I feel it's rather a solemn occasion. I wonder what they're going to do. I think I'll have to start. I'm powder my nose. She's a stuck up bitch. She's a right prawn. Yeah. Not having any cake, Ellen? Uh, no, thanks, Cathy. I'm not a cakey person. Trifle's nice. To be honest, I've never been a big pudding fan. Have I, Connie? It's a long drive back to Harlow, Alan. I like them, but <laughs> they don't like me. You've got queer insides. <laughs> Behave. <laughs> you look lovely. I really think they've all had enough of that already, Carl. I'm sure I don't know what they're all doing here anyway. They're Linda's family. You've met most of them before. And they think it's their place, do they? They loved him. Everybody loved Mark. But you? You couldn't give a toss. I'm surprised the pair of you bothered. There's no hand out, Constance. He admired you in some sort of strange way, didn't he? Yeah. Then it was inevitable, really, that something like this would happen. You're too good for us. I appreciate our Irish roots, but we don't all have to behave as if we just wandered in off the peat bog, Carl. Really? <laughs> of course, none of this would have happened if Dad was still with us. You boys were never dealt with as strictly as me. Oh, yeah, it was a great loss to us all. You forget, Connie. I was old enough to remember when there was so much puke on the floor you couldn't see the empty bottles anymore. So be careful where you lay the blame. I really think it's you who needs to be careful. I mean, the pretty little wifey may turn a blind eye, but do you actually think that everyone else isn't aware of the kind of life you lead? One murder in the family's bad enough. I'd find it hard to live down too. Why don't you and Alan go and make babies? Why don't you get inside out, Mary? Clean something. Well, go on. Jesus. They already smashed the place up. Now they try to burn the bugger down. I don't know what's happening, Molly. I've been up to see Toddy. I've seen better looking abattoirs than that place. He ain't there. Probably up the women's gyny. The morgue. He's dead, Bobby. Nah, I seen him yesterday. He's all right, ain't he? I need him. Ain't he all right? He had hemorrhage and he died this morning. You see him? Just stick a mirror in front of his mouth, see if he stopped breathing. That's how they're telling him. He's in hospital, Bobby. They know when someone's dead. Does that make it one all? I don't think Toddy was the right one. I needed Toddy. I needed. None of the rest of you got any idea. What am I supposed to do now, eh? Bloody typical.
if you wanted to talk about the shop. Not now, Marty. Be honest with me, Carl. That means not ever, don't it? <laughs> don't matter. At least I know where I stand. We're better than that. And cheers, and this. Do you know what I really think of Islington? It was a slum before the posh moved in, and it's worse now. We drink champagne and get respect. We'll be old soon, and then we'll die. I want a lot more. And I'll bet Money Chalker is scared of us. We can take Jimmy. We can take the whole damn lot. Get back in the car. Bobby, George. Come on up, Bobby. Here, Bobby. <laughs> Bloody maze, isn't it, George? <laughs> you get used to it. <laughs> Tony! Hello, Uncle Bobby. It's been a long time. I hope you haven't come to ruin my Sunday. What's it look like? We'll get no help from Slater and Klein. Oh, I don't want to go to Poxy Spain. I don't care what you want. You've landed me right in the shit. Now you'll do as you're told. It wasn't easy getting out today. I can handle him. You can't handle yourself with a hard on. What am I supposed to do in Dago then? Same as you do here. Sod all. Anyone would think I'm a bloody moron. <sighs> Keys to Joe's place. Two grain. And how long's that meant to last? Quite some time, my old son. So don't slash it in the wind. Jesus, you cost me. Come. You said you were picking up the kids from your mum's. I can call her. They can stay there. Darling, I'm only going for a drink with Marty. I'll be fair. Boys night out. Open this. What? Open this. Oh, fuck. Open it! I hope they're well hidden. Because you know you've got to keep dangerous things out of the reach of children. You said it. You promised. 
you swore by the Virgin Mary that this would never happen. You think I'm an idiot? Shut up. What kind of fool do you think I am? Shut up. You say never. Oh, please, God. Why'd you do this, eh? Why'd you make me raise my voice to you? You know I don't like to do that. Do you know why you do it? Because Shh. I have to. No. Because I'm... Shh, sh sh You don't know why, do you? You not only do the best for you, mm. eh? Yeah, of course you do. Now I'm going to take you inside, make you a nice cup of tea, and you're going to pull yourself together. Because I don't like to see you like this. I like to see you pretty. Eh? Then I'm going for a drink with Marty. I love you. I love you too, babe. Be good to me. No one here, Mr. Chalker. What? We're all alone. Isn't that cosy? Just you and me. Help me. Ever seen a Cagney film? Well, of course you did. This is what it always comes down to in the end. Help me, son. Oh, I'm going to. I've got a gun, Mr. Chalker. Are you frightened? Help. You shouldn't have sent your son away, Mr. Choker. Don't die like this. Cardi and no singing. Don't die like this. You mustn't die like this! No singing. <laughs> 